Hi everyone, my name is Kletso and welcome to our channel. Today we're starting a new series creating this space shooter game here in God of War. It's a very classic space shooter game where you can avoid the enemies moving the ship all around. We can also shoot projectiles. We have some power-ups that have been spawned randomly. Let's kill these enemies and collect the power-up. It's very basic. We're gonna learn how to create this heads-up display as you can see in the screen with the lives here and the score and the power up held over this left corner okay so it's a very basic tutorial a beginner friendly i can consider this way so if you never ever heard about godot don't worry don't really worry because you're going to learn about interface about nodes uh areas 2d sprites timers all the things that are here in godot 4 no further ado, let's jump out to the download and install. Okay, first thing first, we need to download Godot 4 in our computer. So let's jump into the site. This is godotengine.org. I'll add in the description. You can click and go there to download. The latest version is Godot.0. Here we have this one. And we have also the LTS version, which is 3.5 for our case in our tutorials video we're going to use Godot 4 it's very important to consider this because there are quite difference not only in the e interface but also in the nodes in the GD script that we're going to be using here in this version okay so click here and in the next screen you choose your operational system in my case it's Windows I'm gonna click and I can download it in my computer once the download has finished, here we have the zip file. We can right click and extract. I've already extracted, that's why it's trying to overwrite. Here's the folder. We can double click. And here is the splash screen of Godot Game Engine. The first screen of Godot is the project manager. We have the local project. Here are some projects I've already created. We can filter by typing some keywords. Here we just filter. Our projects we can also start here we have the bookmark option and the sort by less edited name or the path of our project and here in the right side we have new project import scan edit run rename remove options that are applied to the select file for example if I click this one and hit edit you're gonna open the project in Godot 4 and here is our project of course this is a complete project let's go back to project menu click in here project quit to project list here we have it to start a new project we click here in new project and you can see we have a problem you cannot save a project in the select path that's because this path is not empty please make a new folder or choose a new path Let's click browse and choose a path. Let's see here. Let me see. Create here. Space shooter game. OK. Click OK and select current folder. Here we have it in green sign to continue. In Godot 4, we have a really difference because we can select the render forward, which is Vulkan mobile with a little bit smaller in, in performance and compatibility using OpenGL 3 okay for us we're gonna use for a plus and click create and edit and here we have it Godot 4 uh, if you never ever downloaded or use Godot 4 don't worry we have a brief interface introduction gonna learn about all of this all about this and some menus over here don't worry I'm gonna cover this right now the first thing we see when we create a new project here in Godot is the viewport in 3d space as you can see here we have the X Z and Y axis every X by a color as many 3d softwares don't worry about this and we have here in the top the change viewport options the 3d is selected and we have 2D, look how it changed, and we have only now X and Y axis, and this purple line that represents our camera. 
here we have also a inbuilt editor click clicking in script here we have it of course you can choose a external editor I really love the internal one Godot offers to us let's go back to 2d and here in Godot we have a difference from the other one that is the docs docs are tabs consider as tab we have the scene doc import docs inspector node and history and you can also change the location or position on every doc and make it floating as well here we have floating don't worry about this <laughs> it's very fun and we have the file system that shows all of our files okay don't worry if it's strange at this point we're gonna learn step by step and it's gonna be easier than you think what I really love about Godot from the other engines what I really love about Godot is that we have a specific game object type for example if you see in unity we have a general game object which we can convert into the type we need but here in Godot it's different let's click here in other node option and see a bunch of lists of these game objects which are called nodes every node comes from a specific property and specific type here we see and made the sprite we have audio listener bones CPU particles we have collisions we also have collision objects for example static body character body rigid body every type of node comes from a description in a specific type to start let's click here into the scene and create the node 2d which is the base node here in Godot node 2d if you note we have select here and in the inspector some properties are shown we have transform position rotation and scale of course nothing to represent here let's drag and drop the icon SVG to screen and as we drop it we have now a sprite node here a sprite 2d node which has another type of properties instead of only node 2d properties we have sprite 2d properties which are offset animation and region I'm gonna cover everything in this series don't worry about this okay here in the transform settings that comes from node 2d we have the position look how it's positioned in the screen if you click here in this refresh wheel it comes from 0 0 in X and Y we have also rotation for 5 degrees and a scale to to make it bigger or load 5.5 to make it smaller okay and every time we click in the refresh wheel it comes from the default option great this is a basic cover don't worry about this let's press ctrl s to save our scene let's create a new folder let's call it world and here we can change the scene name to world dash zero one and it's saved so this is it for the first introduction video in the next video we're going to create the player the sprite player and how to move it with the gd script but if you like if you really like this video and you want to help me to create more content in english please if you're not consider subscribing this channel and hitting the like button this way i know this is important and i bring more and more content to the game dev community not only brazil but all the other countries okay so thank you very much for watching see you next video and bye bye